We wanted to take you now to the press conference there with Police Chief, Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson. Let's listen in. Um, as well as for this nation, I think we're seeing it's uh, a public health crisis, really, when we think about gun violence anymore. Um, I give you some information. If I don't have the, the answers for you, I will make sure that we follow up uh, with whatever that we have. What I can tell you, we have a large crime scene here behind us. We have many, many investigators out here. Uh, we have uh, individuals from our gang unit, as well as Denver gangs, has come out as well to assist us. Our major crimes unit will be leading this investigation. Uh, what I can tell you right now is I have six, uh, five juveniles and one adult uh, that has been shot. When I say adult, uh, it's an 18-year-old, so if I think to all of us, that's still one of our kids. Um, so this is very concerning right now. I have one child in emergency surgery. I want to thank uh, the school resource officers that were first on scene, and they applied life-saving measures in the form of a tourniquet uh, for the individual that's in surgery now. Um, I've been in contact with Rico Munn, the superintendent of APS school. He wanted me to pass on that they will be sending information out to parents this evening. All six of our victims are Central High School students. I want to reiterate this did not happen on school grounds. It happened here at Nome Park and along the block of um, 12th, 13th to 11th on Nome Street. We've recovered multiple rounds and different um, calibers. Uh, we do have suspects that are at large and we are working on information to try to gather information that we can get out to you on who exactly we're looking for. With that, I need the public's help. I need us all to be outraged by what happened here today, and I need your help, and please, you can remain anonymous, but if you know anything, if you have a ring camera that you would like to provide us, if, if you hear your kid mention something, anything that you can give us right now is important. The Crime Stoppers number is 720-913-STOP. Um, also, I want you to know that our, our, our program manager for youth violence prevention, Christina Amperon, they are creating right now, they're working with Denver and they're, they're trying to get a regional response for outreach support for these kids, as well as these families that have been victimized. Uh, once I leave here, I'm gonna go to the hospital, hopefully connect with the victims' families. All the victims' parents have been notified and I want you to ask all of you to keep them in your prayers. With that, I'll open it up for questions. So right now we're hearing that uh, there are non-life-threatening injuries, but obviously anyone that's shot with a weapon, a, a gunshot, is serious. So uh, we need lots of prayers. And I, again, I said one, one uh, child is in surgery. Is this a drive-by? Uh, my understanding is it was a drive-by shooting, as well as there may have been people on foot. Was there return fire from the kids that were at the park? We have no information that that occurred. We, right now we have that they are victims. Chief, can you say if the kids were on break or were they between classes in the park when this happened? You know, I'm not sure, sir, um, but they were not on school grounds. They were at the park. You said suspects, plural. Uh, do you have any sense of how many individuals might have fired? Um, we had some uh, some neighbors called in. They had seen people they thought were suspicious, so I would say multiple suspects. I don't have a number for you. With the units responding, do you believe this is gang violence and if these uh, minors were targeted? You know, we're still it's still the early stages of this investigation, so we're going to, you know, not leave any rock uncovered. So we're going to look at all different angles. Again, we need help from the community. Um, I'm just thankful that the SROs were where they were at the time and that these kids hopefully are all going to come out of this uh, with their lives. Is there any vehicle description? Um, we have some vehicle descriptions. I'm being asked at this point um, not to release that because we're not 100% sure. People called in what they thought was suspicious, so I'd hate to identify a vehicle um, that isn't involved. As for the violence at no Park, have you seen shootings here before? You know, I'm not sure of this year if we've had shootings here before at this exact park, but we can get you that information. As police chief, what is your gut response when you respond to something? Well, I can tell you when I got the call, my heart dropped. I think as many as, as most of you felt the exact same way, and I think enough is enough, and I think we need to come together as a community. This is a public health crisis. This is not all on law enforcement. We need to get out through to our kids and figure out a way to stop this. Is there a violence crisis in Aurora right now? Uh, there's a violence crisis across the nation right now, and so I think we all need to pay attention. People that live on this block um, express concerns about what they call shooting, regular shootings. Um, is there anything specific you are doing to address the violence here? So obviously we'll have heightened patrol in the area, um, and we are just responding to calls as we possibly can, but the SROs, of course, um, 
usually patrol the areas with inside the school as, as well as around the school. Knowing that this involves students all from the same school, what does that do for your investigation? How does that play into everything? Well, I'm hoping that there's kids out there that know why this happened, that know what the situation was, and can actually share information with us. Um, I'm sure that somebody out there knows something, and I need them to come forward. Chief, how do you feel about the first responder response to this incident? How would you summarize that? I couldn't be more proud of them. Um, they they saved a life today, and I, I want to applaud the men and women that showed up here today. Were all the victims gathered together? So they all like together right? My understanding is they were at the park together, um, and some may have been walking back. I'm not 100% sure exactly, but it was all within this, this area that you see behind you. Was there one vehicle? Uh, there were multiple vehicles that people described as suspicious. Again, I don't want to point those vehicles out until we have more information. I'm hoping that we have rain camera so we can put those uh, visuals out to you all, and I ask your help to put those out when we have them, if we get them. Did the shootings occur from a fair distance, uh, given the level of injury? Was there, I mean, what would you estimate the distance? I, uh, from the street to the park, uh, so from the middle of the street to the park, and as well as we have information, there was a drive-by, as well as people that may have been on foot. Can you expand the problems you're having and gather the information from the community, just generally, it seems like this? What, what are you facing and what would you, it's okay if you repeat yourself, what, would, what do you want to see happen? Um, really what I need is for people to come forward. I know everyone nowadays have some sort of camera system. That would be very helpful in us to get some stills out of whether the suspects were wearing or what the vehicles that they were driving is out. Also, I just need you to talk to your kids and I need you to ask them to please come forward if they have information. Are you finding resistance to coming forward from people who know things? All the victims, from my understanding, are being very cooperative as well as their families. And so, again, I'm, you know, it's early on in the stages. We're still about two hours in, so we're, we're asking for all the help we can get. Are any other schools on lockdown? Um, no, ma'am. Uh, Central High School was put on lockdown, and right now they should be doing a, a controlled release for parents, and we have put that information out through tweets for, um, for parents to know. Where, where, where did they go? Where did they get taken hospital-wise? So local hospitals that are close in proximity here, um, we have, again, six victims. One self-transported, the rest were transported by ambulance. Sorry, just to be clear, some of the shooters were in the car, but some might have been on foot. That's my understanding. Um, so, again, it's very preliminary, but any information you have, no matter how small, we need it, please. We just, we heard that Angie was locked down. Was that because of this incident? I'm not sure if that occurred. Um, but we can get you that information. I don't believe Ann Schutz was on lockdown. Okay. Is this a uh, neighborhood or area prone to gang activity and gang violence? So I think that um, this area is is a good place for people to live, and we have a lot of hardworking men and women that live here. And obviously the gang problem can go um, throughout any neighborhood. And But like I said, I'm not 100% sure this is gang-related, so I hate to jump to that conclusion. We have two more questions. What's Any a safe way to classify any to other recent crimes, Chief? I'm sorry, sir? Any suspicion of any connections to any other recent crimes? I have been not told of any connections at this point, but again, we, we have several uh, detectives out, and we'll be talking to our Metro partners to see if there's anything like this. If this stems from an incident at school, are you considering this or classifying it as a school shooting, or how does that play? Uh, no, sir. Since it didn't happen on school grounds, thank God, um, that would have been you know, more victims that, were, that could possibly have been injured, so I'm thankful for that. And um, again, I'm working closely with Rico Munn, the superintendent of APS, and we will make sure that the kids that come to school tomorrow feel safe. We'll have more officers here, as well as um, counselors for them. One more on this weapon. weapon. Any, any information on type of weapon? Several different calibers is what I was told, um, so I don't have any, any further specifics. How can we safely classify the amount? Dozens of shots were fired here, or 10? I would, say, I would say there were multiple shots fired. Apologies for this already, but the, the suspects we do not know, sir. And once, like I said, if I can get people to send me uh, ring camera footage, uh, we're getting descriptions, we're going door to door to try and get people to describe what they thought was suspicious, and we'll get that information out to you. I appreciate you being here today. You're our partners in this, and, and we thank you for being here. Thank you so much.